Hey, welcome to my channel. Yay! So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that's been highly requested and it's my everyday makeup tutorial. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. So, oh my god, my skin. I'm so upset with my skin right now. This is my basket, my everyday basket. Mm, sorry. <laughs> and um, first thing I start off with is some SPF. And if I don't have time for makeup, I have time for SPF. Next, I'm going to be going in with some color corrector. And I already did my brows. Um, yeah, this is the MAC. <laughs> it's not focusing. This is the MAC Peach Luster Corrector. Yes, I did my brows, so I will link it down in the description box on how to do my brows um, on the how to do brows video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my all-in-one BB cream, and this is from The Body Shop, and I love this stuff. It, oh, it's so good. It gives your skin such a dewy finish. If you have dry skin, you will love this stuff. If you have more of an oily... Um, skin you're not gonna like it because it gives I mean, you'll, you'll look like a you look very shiny <laughs> with a buffing brush because you have to buff it into your skin and you cannot use this with a beauty blender I learned the hard way because there's little beads inside of it that color match your skin tone and if you use a beauty blender then it won't break why am I why am I smiling I don't know I'm just so happy it's so happy but yeah um you gotta use a buffing brush for this and just buff it into your skin I love this stuff. It just makes my skin look so healthy. And it's very, very light coverage. Next, I'm going to be going in with my MAC Pro Long Concealer in NC42 and just applying this in the dark areas of my face, like under my eyes and around the corners of my mouth. Next, I'm going to be using this useless brush that I thought would... Uh, work well but it didn't so I kind of just threw that aside and use my beauty blender to just blend it all in this is a new camera by the way I'm just still trying to figure out how it works <laughs> but yeah next I'm gonna be taking the Sonia Kashuk um, cream bronzer it's my favorite and it's in rich bronze it's just so beautiful and it gives your skin the glow that you've always wanted <laughs> It's just perfect. I love this stuff. I just came back from Colorado and we went to a Target there and they had it. So I picked up a few. I love it. I love it so much. And I just, I love looking bronze. Um, so I kind of just drag that down my neck and just warm up my cheeks. I love this stuff so much. Did I say I love this stuff? I love this stuff. Next, I'm going to be using the tray under the uh, bronzer and I'm just going to be um, blending out my concealer before I set it because it started to crease. I'm just going to be going in with banana powder very lightly and just pushing it under um, my eyes to prevent creasing. I'm not really baking at this point, I'm just kind of setting my makeup. Next, I'm going to be going in with corduroy and wedge eyeshadow by MAC and I'm going to be contouring my nose. Now, this is the fav my favorite part of, um, of putting on my makeup. Again, I don't wear all this makeup every single day, but it's my everyday go-to routine if I have some time on my hands. Like, if I were to wear makeup that day, this is what I would usually do. So, it's my, um, yeah, it's my everyday makeup when I have time for makeup. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Next, I'm going to be t mixing Blunt and Peach Twist and just warming up my cheeks as well. And my go-to blush is a more of a cor <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my go-to blush is a more of a corally colored, bronzy colored blush. That's what I love wearing. So I love to warm up my cheeks with that. And now I'm just applying a highlighter. It's just a regular eyeshadow from MAC. I think it's in all that glitters. Next, I'm going to be applying my Voluminous Mascara. And I love this mascara so much, but to be honest, it's I think it's causing my lashes to fall out. And that's not so good. So um, I need to stop using it. But I love it. What? How 
how did that even happen? Um, I love it so much, so I need to find a really good mascara. So if you guys know a really good drugstore mascara, list that down below. Now I'm taking my Ardell 120 lashes. Now, again, I don't wear lashes every single day, but when I do have time for makeup, I love putting these on just by itself with no eyeshadow. It's very, very natural. And I kind of just mesh that in with my natural lashes. If you want, I can do a how to wear lashes. <laughs> that wasn't a good example, but how to wear lashes video if you guys are interested. Now I can just cover up the glue with some liquid liner and I'm just applying a very thin layer, very, very thin layer, just to cover the glue of the lashes and um, to make it more, look more natural. Like I'm not weighing this out or anything like that, just very lightly putting this on the lash line of my lash line. <laughs> and then dragging that in the corner of my eye. Yeah, you know what time it is. It's strip down time. It's not, it's not focusing. See, I'm still going to use this camera. But um, I stripped down the lip liner. Nothing else, ladies. Um, and then I'm just going to be applying that to my lip and filling in my entire lip with that lip liner. Oh, I love this stuff. Next, I'm going to be taking this Milani lipstick. And I think it's in, what is it? What does it say? What is it? Mm, matte Naked. And I'm gonna be applying it to my lips and this looks very natural. Again, I think it's just, the, the, I think it's the exact same color as my lips. Next, I'm gonna be going in with some Fix Plus and just setting in my makeup to make it look extra dewy and extra natural because that's what I'm going for. Well, so this is it. This is my finished makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will list all the details of what I use and discount codes in the description box. Thanks for watching, ladies. Bye.